And it is cap on the bump for the green and gold. James Caprillion taking his third turn of the season, his 50th career start. Nemo standing in on the left side. High pop up. Right toward Peterson. And he drifts a little bit to his left. He grabs it. Here's Starling Marte, played for the Athletics. Rolls this one slowly to the right side. Kemp has to range a long ways to his left. And Marte's going to beat it out as Kemp just could not get a throw off. So Francisco Lindor is the hitter. High pop fly. Shallow right. And Loriano coming in and waiting for it to come down, and he grabs it. Here's Alonzo, who really tore it up here last year. Had two home runs, drove in seven in the three game series. And a fastball line in the left field for a base hit. Chase toward the line by Capel. Marte will go first to third. The throw goes to third, and that enables Alonzo to take the extra base. He was going to hold at first base if Capel had thrown to second, as he should have. And so the Mets get an extra base. Here's McNeil, one and two here. And a swing and a high pop up right near home plate. Langoliers has a chance. Back behind the plate, he'll squeeze it. And a good job by Caprillion as he gets through some traffic. The purveyor of the ghost fork, Kodai Senga, takes the mound for his first start against anybody other than the Miami Marlins. Tony Kemp leads off for the A's and hits the first pitch on the ground right at Guillaume. One pitch and one out for Senga. What a start. Long at bat here for Noda, and he pops one up. Should be playable. Nito and Alonzo, and Nito's going to take it himself in foul ground for the second out. So two out and nobody on. Now Brent Rooker, again the 2-2. And he struck him out on a fork ball in the dirt. Nito watches the hitter walk away, and that's how Senga's first inning ends with a strikeout. Three walks by Caprillion. Bases loaded, one out for Nimmo. Caprillion's 3-2. Down low, check swing, but no go. And Nimmo walks, and the Mets score a run on a free pass. So Caprellian has walked four. He's now walked a run in. Vogelback comes down from third, stamps his foot on the plate, and it's 1 0 New York. And it doesn't get any easier for Caprellian. The Mets really have a chance to break this thing open. 3 2 coming to Marte, and he walked him. Five walks in the inning. In to score comes Guillaume, and it's 2 0 New York. Here's Lindor with the bases still loaded. And he socks one to center field. Back goes Ruiz to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. A grand slam, Francisco Lindor. 6 nothing New York. Lindor wasted no time after the five walks. Caprillion gave him a pitch to hit, and Lindor made no mistake. Chase Peterson, the lefty, stands in. Here comes the 2-2. Swing and a tip. No, he missed it. Strike three on the fork ball. So second fork ball strikeout tonight for Kodai Senga. And he has his first out in the bottom of the second inning. So now Diaz with one on and one out. Swing and a miss. High fastball, got him at 96. Back-to-back -back strikeouts as Senga cuts right through a lead miss Diaz like a hot knife through butter. So now Langoliers. And he struck him out. Got him with a splitter. Four strikeouts for Senga. Here is Ryan Noda. Uh, Senga to the plate in the pitch. That's in the dirt. Ball four. He threw the fork ball. So Noda walks. A two-out walk. And that'll give Brent Rooker a chance. The designated hitter here in the third. Runner goes. And it's lifted in the air. Very shallow right field. Guillaume can't make the play. Here comes Noda. They're going to wave him home. The throw is cut off by Alonzo. And the A's going to run. Guillaume was the only Met that had a legitimate chance of catching it, and he almost did. Dropped right into a perfect spot, just out of the reach of Giorme, and once again, the hustling Noda. Here is Capel. Here's the pitch. That swan line drive, base hit into left center. So Capel going the other way as he picks up his second hit. He's two for two. And that will bring up the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Here is Langoliers as he swings and hits one. Fly ball to left field going back. McNeil at the track near the wall. Looks up and it is gone. A two-run homer for Langoliers. It's now 6-3 to three Mets. And the A's are right back in it. Hogan Harris on to make his major league debut. So that's why they took that first pitch out of play. Pride of Lafayette, Louisiana. Comes on to face Daniel Vogel back as we go to the fifth. If Harris has any measure of success, he's going to pitch multiple innings now in the middle of this game for the A's. 
Vogelback breaks his bat and rolls one out to Kemp at second. And that's the first out. So Logan Harris now has an ERA in the big leagues. If he has any success, Gary, he'll be in the rotation tomorrow. <laughs> it won't be. And Harris having just as much trouble as Caprilli in finding the strike zone. So now Nimmo with a chance to do some damage. Pitch. Hit him. Got him in the back, and Nimmo wears one. And here comes Escobar to score from third. It is 7-3 Mets. Marte's been on base three times in a row. An infield hit and two walks. And there's ball four, and that'll force in another run. So in a span of five batters, Hogan Harris has walked four and hit one. Well, Lindor already has a grand slam in this game. He hit it as a left-hand batter in the second, and now he's up with the bases loaded in the fifth as a right-hand batter. And Lindor tries that one down the line. That'll bring it at least two. Nito is in. Nemo right behind him. Marte is going to be waved home. The relay throw to the plate is not in time. It's a three-run double for Francisco Lindor. He's got a seven RBI night. And the Mets have broken it open. It's now 11-3 to three in the fifth. But I Senga warming up in the bullpen. Remember after the long second inning, he struggled a little. That's grounded to the left side. Getting to it is Diaz out at second. Vogelback beats the wrap at first, and that brings in another run. Lindor scores the sixth run of the inning. Now Alenmas Diaz, he swings and flies one to deep left. McNeil is back to the track at the wall, and out it goes for Alenmas Diaz. His first home run as an Oakland A. So now Marte has twice walked with the bases loaded. That's pulled over the bag. That's a fair ball going down the line. That'll chase Nimmo home. Marte will trade places with him. Back-to-back two-out doubles. Marte on base for the fifth time tonight. He drives in a run to make it 13-4. to One away for Brent Rooker, who's one for three with an RBI single. Rooker hits a high drive. Right center field. Nemo's back. And that baby's gone. Stay hot, Rooker. Just kind of stayed out. Brent Rooker put another great swing. There's Kemp. Tony is 0 for 3. It's this one high in the air to right. Marte coming in. Marte is going to fire it home. Here comes Langoliers. And he's going to score. Sacrifice fly for Kemp. Run number six for the A's. Here's Jace Peterson. Santana set. He's ahead one and two. Pitch. Line towards the middle. Indoor leaping catch behind second base. Francisco lifting off the ground to make the catch position perfectly right up the middle. Lots of walks, lots of pitches tonight. Here comes a 3-0, and it's outside ball four. They've walked in another run. The Mets lead 14-6. And Escobar drives one down the line for a base hit. That'll bring in Alonzo. It'll bring in McNeil. It rolls around in the corner. Vogelback, nonetheless, is going to stop at third. So three runs home in the inning, and now here is Giorme. And he takes one the other way, and that's a base hit, and that'll drive in Vogelback. Escobar moves over to third, so Giorme on base for the fifth time tonight. Three walks and now two hits as he drives in a run. Well, Langoliers is a triple shy of the cycle. And a high fly ball hit to shallow right. Lo Castro settles under it. And this ball game comes to an end. A travesty of a game, but the Mets will take it as they draw 17 walks. Francisco Lindor drives in seven runs, and the Mets win 17 to 6.